Right, time for maths. And yesterday we explored and met number block number seven, didn't we? So we've done the counting. So let's count to seven quickly out loud. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And let's count it on the number cards here. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, what I want you to think about today is, first of all, is getting the numeral number seven stuck in your head so you know what it looks like. So maybe take this card around your house and see if you can find the number seven on anything around your house. You ready? Off you go. Go. OK, how did you do? I found number seven on a remote control. Found number seven on the telephone. There it is, look. And I also found number seven on the clock. Where did you find number seven? To a shout. Okay. Good. Well done. So next, we have a look at a counting stick. And can you see there's different colour sections? We've got a red. Yellow, red, yellow. How many sections is that? Can we just count? One, two, three, four. So we've got four different sections. So if I said to you we we're going to start at number one and ask which number would this red one be, what would you say? Be three. Let's look. One, two, three. But I'm not going to make it that easy. I'm going to say that the starting number, num this red block here, is number five. So if this was five, which one of these would be number seven? Can you work it out? Let's see. So this is five, six, seven. So this section here would be seven and we would reach to the number eight. Right, okay. What if this was number three? Where would number seven be then? Let's have a look. Three, four, five, six. Did you guess that actually it didn't fit on the number stick? Not because I didn't think about it first. Right, so this would be seven over here if there was another section. Right. If this is number seven, what would the starting number be? How would you work that out? So if this was seven over here, what would the starting number be? How do I think? Well, let's find out, shall we? The only way I'd be able to do it is if I started on seven and carried backwards. So seven, six, five, four. Did you say four? Well done if you did. Now, shall we meet number seven? Now, what I thought was really clever was in the number blocks. Number seven had one, two, Lost his head. <laughs> Poor number five. Five. Six. And then we have this one here. Seven. And what was really special about number seven was that all the colours of the first set of six number blocks made number seven. Look, can you see that? So we've got Red and red for one. What colour is two? Yeah, orange. What colour is three? Yellow. What colour is four? Green. And then we've got blue for five. Now, before we talk about this colour, we've got a special kind of pattern here. What, what does number seven go up in? The colours of the what? 
It's the colours of the rainbow. Now, when we get to the two purpley looking colours, the darker bluey purple and then the lighter one, lighter purple, we call it indigo violet. All right, so how many colours are there in the rainbow? We know because there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven colours in the rainbow. And number seven is very clever because he uses all the colours of the number blocks. And if we look at number seven, if we look at number seven's eyebrows there, what do you notice? Look, how many does he have? How many hairs? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And they're also in the colours of the rainbow. So there's an important thing to know about number seven, that there are seven colours in the rainbow. Now let's use that information and do a bit of maths artwork. So I'm going to attempt to paint a rainbow. And this could be something that you do. And I'm going to try my best to use the primary colours. Now there are three colours that you can mix to make other colours. And hopefully, by doing a rainbow, we'll also learn what happens when we mix these colours, okay? So what's the first colour of the rainbow? Let me just check. It is red. So I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna turn number block seven upside down because I'm going to Put the red at the top. So I'm going to get a brush. Now what kind of shape is a rainbow? Is it square? Has it got straight sides? No, it's a curve, isn't it? It's like an arch shape. Right, here comes my red. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do an arch of red. And go over that again. Some more paint. More, more, more. That's it. I need quite a bit of paint on the first one here. And I'm going to make it thicker. And I'll show you why in a minute. Because I'm going to hope, as long as it works... I'm going to hope that by now using the yellow, because I need an orange, I'm going to put the yellow along it to make the third colour. And because I know that red and yellow makes orange, I'm hoping it will turn orange over the arch. I'll show you what I mean. So get a nice thicker brush. Get lots of yellow paint on that one. I'm going to, so I'm actually going to start like just beside it and over at the same time. And round. And then I'm just going to get some more yellow. Just got to be careful. More yellow. Oh, it's just mixed a bit there. But can you see what I'm trying to do? By just going over the red bit, it turns that bit orange for me and I still get my yellow colour underneath. Can you see that? So that helps us know, if you know the colours of the rainbow and the order, if you know that there's orange between red and yellow, that will help you to remember when you have to mix colours to get the colours you want out of paint. Now the next one I'm going to use is blue because there's yellow here and blue here. Which colour do you think red and yellow, I'm sorry, blue and yellow are gonna make? Which one do you reckon? Green, I hope, because of this one. What I might need to do just quickly first though, I might just need to put a bit more yellow here. It's gone a bit orange as I've over mixed it. Let's just put a bit more yellow. Okay, let's just see. Let's hope this works. There we go. I'm going to now use the blue and do what I did before and slightly go over the colour above. Oh, is it working or not? Let's have a look. Now there is a slightly different colour coming through, but is it clear that it's green?
Can you see there's a slight bit of green there? I must probably need a bit more yellow over the top, don't I? Let me add a bit more. All right, can you see it's going a greeny colour? Yeah. So yellow. Oh, look, there we go. That's better. Yellow and blue makes green. Now, the next bit, I'm going to have to try and be very clever. I'm not very good at mixing, babe, but I'm going to try my best. If you put a bit of red with the blue, not too much, you should get a nice darker blue. for the indigo bit. Can you see that? And then to get the last kind of purple, the violet, if you have a lot more red and a lot more blue together so it's a bit more evenly matched and the red will lighten up the blue more. I'm gonna mix them together in my palette. Is that going to work? Oh no, it looks quite sane, doesn't it? Oh, let's mix a bit more in. Let's try that in it. It's coming a slightly different colour. I wonder if you'll be able to do it much better than me at home. But can you see there are seven slightly different colours here? So we've got the red and the orange. The yellow, the green, the blue, the indigo, and the violet. Could add a bit more white, I suppose, to that one. Now, the last thing to do, because it's numbers, I'm going to use... You've got this in your folder. I'm going to use this number formation chart to help me write the numbers 1 to 7 down the side of the rainbow with the colours. So, okay, I'm going to put... One underneath the red, and then two by the orange, three by the yellow, four by the green, five by the blue, six by the indigo, and seven by the violet. So there's a challenge for you today. You might not have paint, you might have colouring pencils, you might want to make it out of collage materials. Can you make a rainbow and maybe write your numbers to seven and try and remember the seven colours of the rainbow for number block number seven?